Shalom. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you, everyone. So, I I had that that uh, channel that I show you. I had changed it. That video was made a while back. Um, so I had recently changed it. So this is where you find my channel that I use now. It's right here. That is how you can find me now. I still have the same picture though, and my staff. So this this is my staff, and I am the mo I am the one that the Muslim lantern think he he is he's so funny. He think he knows everything. He's a jerk off. I don't I I can't stand radical Muslims who don't know anything about truth nor about my grandfather's religion. Hey, here you go. There's that. Here's the. The, the thing on my on my cheek, if you want to see the, the big pearl right here that looked like a myrtle leaf in the design. My nose. All right. And I got, that's an aquiline nose, which aquiline means what? What does it mean? It means a deformity. If your nose is aquiline, it's a deformity. So they don't, the scholars don't understand how to use the word deformity in the proper context of it. So that's that. I also have the mark on my right thigh as well. And I have the marks that are on my back in which I showed everybody before. But that is my channel right there if you want to really know about me or speak to me or something else. I do still have this channel here, but I really don't go on it. This is a backup channel because a lot of people like to try to get me banned or take me down. Muslims on top of it. Radical Muslims who are a bunch of pussified men. Right? You understand? I'm a lion, they kitty cats, fact. But um, I noticed that the jerk off, he want to try to uh, upload that video now of me because he, he can't handle me. But I'm going to tell you, you know, like he has a short period of time. And when I find, if I find out that he's making money off of my image and my title, you're in big trouble, Muhammad Ali. I'll, st I'll take you to court and sue you for everything that you have because you have not got my permission to post my image on your account. We weren't public. I understand it was on your channel. You have to get permission. It's called policy of YouTube. If I wanted to report you to YouTube, I could report you to YouTube. And then the video would be that done and you'd be have a strike against you and you could no longer monetize for a while. So you can't profit off the word of God anymore. I hate I hate men that try to profit off the word of God on top of it. It's so ridiculous, you understand? God gives his word for free and these jerk-offs like to profit off of the word of God. What fucking clowns they all are. What clowns. I don't profit off the word of God. Anything I teach, I teach openly, publicly, things like that. I don't try to make money off of people. I don't try to weasel the sheep out of their hard-earned work money just so that they can have the truth about God and proper interpretations of everything. So you clearly, so you can understand, you clearly understand that the guy did not even, he, he edited the video. He would not show the whole thing and all this other stuff. He's a fucking, he's a clown, man. He's a clown. If you can't show everything that happens and you want to try to be a little boastful man and say, I push a button to block you and you would do all this type of stuff. You're a fucking clown, man. You're like some kind of homosexual, I think. He want to wear a dress. You hear him. And then I speak in Arabic. You hear me speak Arabic, right? You understand all that. I didn't want to speak any other tongue. We're in an English. English. You, you say you live in England or you live in the West. And here the man sits here and he lives in, in, in a Western society with Western law, claiming to be an Arab with an American baseball hat on. And then he's going to talk shit about the very nation that gives him freedom in order to be able to publish the things that he publishes and monetize and make money for. If the asshole lived in fucking Saudi Arabia, he would not be able to go around posting videos titled Imam al-Mahdi, fuck boy. He, they throw him in jail. <laughs> Yet he knows all about Arab stuff, don't he? He's so smart. He What a fucking clown he is, man. And all the Arabs out there know, he tried to, on in, on the video he uploaded, he tried to, and this gives you proof, he tried to say, I, I, I don't know Arabic and I wasn't speaking it, yet he had to take what I was saying and translate it underneath and there's 25 dialects and he tried to make the excuse that we, I said the word we, Tarifun, it's not we, it's, it's do you know who I am? 
And he wanted to try to translate it in, in his modern Arabic tongue. <laughs> what a fucking joke, man. And and you clearly understood. I, I, I understood what he said. Because when he tried to manipulate it to say, how many people are you then? I knew what he was saying. I, I heard everything he said. That's why I said my spirit is different than my flesh. And we're not talking about me. I'm here to discuss something about you and your belief system, asshole. You you clearly don't have the true story of Moses and the staff, yet you can run around and try to claim that Islam is is not corrupt and it has every proper interpretation. Your religion is just the wrong just as wrong interpretation about Moses and his staff as the Christian and the Jew. Because neither of you, none of them, speak Egyptian hieroglyphs to understand the concept of it all. So he wanted to try to mock me or make fun of me and everything else. Clearly, he wanted to wear a dress. I had to stop him from that, you know. <laughs> so next, he wants to go and try to mock people in Scotland. And I'm sitting there thinking, man, what about an African? And an African or an Arab was born and raised in Scotland. And that was their heritage to wear a kilt. You're going to really make fun of them? You're going to laugh at the way that they dress? What a fucking clown. I can't believe you Muslims follow or listen to any of this guy's stuff. Knowing that he's an asshole in this manner. I may come off cussing and everything else, but I am very respectful towards people and everything. You know what I'm saying? I am a tough guy. I've, I'm, I'm very hard because of my raising, I was in occultation. I was adopted and taken and everything. So I'm a very hard man, but my heart is very uh, warm. I would never treat people in the manner like he does. I would never try to mock and laugh other at other religions because he doesn't understand them. So he wants to mock and laugh at them. Oh, you don't have a shirt on today. Put a shirt on. Uh, I'm so horny. I'm looking at your boobies. Uh, I'm a homo. That's what I think about it. You know, so so a guy doesn't wear a shirt. I mean, is that something bad? Guys out there, if a guy doesn't have a shirt on, what's wrong with that? I mean, it's not a woman. It's a man. What the fuck is wrong with these people, right? So there's no policy in YouTube that you can't, you, you as a man, you must wear a shirt. <laughs> so this guy, he's trying to play an image. He's so fake, man. If you can't be who you are, Fuck you. You're a joke, man. You're a fucking clown. Point blank. So your Islam is not proper interpretation. So don't you dare run around trying to claim that your religion is right. And don't you dare try to say that me, Imam Mahdi, Achim, Hajut Allah, the Adaba, is going to spread your lies. Dude, I take and crush Istanbul and Constantinople. You understand what that means. It doesn't mean I'm going to physically go and attack it. It means that your Islam mainstream of Abu Bakr nonsense derived from Istanbul. The Christian mainstream stuff derived from Constantinople. It just so happens they're both the same city. And I crush everything that they are teaching about things. So that's my new channel. You find me by Rabbi Al-Mahdi, right? Ad Rabbi 7 Imam. And that's where you'll find my channel because I, I got messages on my uh, email account of people trying to say, we can't find your channel. That's because I changed it. Because there was a a Muslim... This is what happened, why I changed it. There was a Muslim uh, masjid uh, in where I live, in the states where I live. Because I am from the West. And mind you, in order for you to be the Alchem, the riser... You have to be where the sun rises in the West. When the sun rises from the West. So we know the sun never rises in the West. Because God set the motion, the earth's rotation around the sun. So it's never going to change. Once he sets something, it's going to remain that way. So what does the Hadith mean when the sun that rises from the West, the al is also known as the Mahdi. Clearly you understand the word Medina in Arabic just means a big city. And I was born in one of the biggest cities in the United States. Fact. And when it says that I run to Mecca, what is Mecca? Mecca means it's a great gathering place where people all go. 
It doesn't necessarily mean it has to be in Saudi Arabia, you fucking jokes. Look at the words, man. Look at the words. And in, in the days of Muhammad, on top of it, Mecca was not the central point of Islam because there wasn't no great amount of followers of Muhammad during that time period for him to even be trying to say things or his companions to say anything that Medina and Mecca would be cities of Saudi Arabia. No, the meaning of the word, because most people in the ancient days spoke words that were meanings. Okay, you understand. I hope people understand that. So, there's no reason for, for these Muslims in the world to follow any of these false fucking imams or false lying teachers or scholars. Because if they don't have the proper, and that's a hadith as well. The Adaba comes out with what? The staff of Musa, the ring of Solomon. All right, yes. Do I have them? I do. Do I have the marks on the body? Yes, I do. What else do you want to me to prove to you? Oh, that's uh, in the Hadith. Oh, the army going to come and fall in the earthquake and the uh, earth will swallow them. Okay, then, then they all believe me. Oh. You know, it's, it's, it's such ignorance and stupidity. I, I, it's unfathomable. But they will always deny because I'm not in their religious organization, which that's another Hadith. I don't practice your dead man grave. I don't practice religion. I don't practice Islam. Oh, but God will make him righteous in one night. Oh, yeah. God will correct him in one night. What's that mean? doesn't mean he's going to make me join in. Th He'll make me able to lead people in one night. I'll be known overnight in that manner. So, so you don't even know the proper words that you even have in your fucking own Arabic tongue. And you don't even know the fucking means. That's what I laugh at all these guys. They sit there and they read. You, you could be raised in English, Latin, Italian, Spanish, or anything. Babel is all it is. The meaning of the words that people speak all mean the same. A cup is a cup in any language. That's the meaning. Something that you drink out of, whatever you call it in your tongue, it's going to have the same connotation meaning, right? It's going to have the same meaning. So when you read God's word, that's how you better start understanding the meaning, not what the word is written by scribes, but the meaning of things, of why it is written by scribes in this format, because there's a meaning behind all of it. So that's my new channel. I, I, am, I don't know if I'm going to make any more, like I say, any videos or teach anybody anything anymore because... I'm so fed up with Muslims. I go, I just don't give a fuck about them no more. I think they're all trash. I really do. I think you guys are trash. You don't follow my grandfather, Mohammed, nor do you follow my grandmother, Zayda of Seville, nor do you follow Fatima. Fatima couldn't stand Abu Bakr. And that's who you actually follow is all the teachings of Abu Bakr because that's who created your fucking book for you. You have no understanding of any truth whatsoever, and you concoct your religious imaginations just like all other religions are concocted imaginations. You try to make money and profit off the word of God, so I really could care less. I really could. I don't want to lead a bunch of fucking dirty ass motherfucking nodges group of people who think they're better than everyone else. You're 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 worse than everyone. You're the only ones who have terrorist organizations that go around causing problems on this fucking earth. I don't see Christians going around doing it. I don't see Hindus going around doing it. Only people I see going causing problems in the nation are a bunch of fucking Muslims with their fucking imagination and concocted interpretations of lies. That's all I see. And if they don't like it, they can shove it up their ass. They can shove it where the sun don't shine, asshole. Because in my land, the sun is always shining in the west. Because that's where the sun going to rise in the West. So that's another one of your hadiths, by the way, like I stated. And and the Adaba is another hadith. Uh, everything that you can understand of what I teach or say is all your hadiths. So whenever guys go around trying to say, I don't know anything about your fucking religion, I know everything about your religion. Everything. I don't practice it because it's shirk. I don't practice shirk shit. Now, the word of God in every book is proper. It's the way that it's interpreted is wrong. 
So fuck these clowns. Fuck you people. I don't give a rat's ass. All this guy's followers are nothing but a bunch of little fucking punk ass teeny bopper fucking kids who probably all smoke fucking dope and play video games or whatever. That's all they are. I saw, I've, I've watched his videos and the guests that come on, they're pretty ignorant people. I'm not going to lie. They're pretty ignorant people. And they, they, and he acts as if he's wise, which makes both of them fucking fools. <laughs> it's like a fucking circus, three ring circus sideshow. When I sit there and watch it, I just laugh at it all. So for all you who really want to know truth and have actual questions about religion and different things, I'm your man. I'm your fucking man. All right. Just like the song, I'm your man. And I have every answer that you're looking for. I help you and guide you to the proper path. Because all in all, if you don't even know what Islam derives from, the word, break it apart, Isa, Se, Salam, then you're, if you don't know what that means, then you're not even in the proper religion. If you deny Isa as being the appointed, anointed king, al Messiah then you're fucking way off the fucking path, man. And you need, a, I need to throw a rope out to you and bring you back from the lost jungle that you're in because you're way, way fucking off because you have listened to lies, thieves, and bullshitters. That's why the world don't like Muslims. If the Muslims would wake up to the truth and join back into the proper family of Ibrahim, which is the, 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 the Moomin Jews and the Moomin Christians, then you would understand people would not not like you. But when you sit there and you wear hijab and you make fun of other women who are not, and you're not even a 